Um, All right, on this podcast, yeah. we tell the truth on women, men and women. We say the negative things about right. women, but we also say the negative things about men. I'm going to give something something uh, negative about guys. Guys all cheat. It's just a matter of um, are they capable of doing it, period. That That's what it comes down to. That's why, like, the higher status the man that you date, the more money he makes, more attractive he is, whatever, he's going to cheat. You're just going to have to accept it. And men at that level, they're not necessarily cheating. They're just exercising options. So yeah, what it comes so down to is thing. what caliber of man are you willing to accept the cheating from? Because all guys are going to cheat. It just men are only as faithful as their options. Do you Always. believe in that? Do all men cheat? I also I kind of want to like spew this out really quick. If a woman is in a relationship for a long time and say her sexual needs aren't being met, kind of like the same reason guys cheat because mm-hmm. they just want to bust. Um, <laughs> bust. Say yeah, <laughs> I said that really white. Um, no. <laughs> but <laughs> it's like if. If they're willing to, like, fuck the pool guy or something like that, someone they would never technically be attracted to or whatever, that's the same kind of thing. And that does happen. Men All right. I'll, I'll ask a simple question. Are men and women the same? Not exactly. No. Yes. Similar yes. No. No. Similar, but not the same, like she yeah. said. Okay. No. 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 Similar, but not the same. Okay. Would it be fair to say, then, that we view the world extremely differently? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. That okay. Is fair to say. Um, would you guys say that we view sex differently too? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you guys are designed to protect your egg for the best. We're designed to spread our seed everywhere. So yes, there's a reason why you can only bring one child to term, and I can bring as many children to term as I can bust nuts in to women. That's because mm. you guys don't have to deal with actually having to take care and nurture. That's why you guys exactly do it. Yeah. That no, proves my point yeah, even yeah, further. So right. continuing continuing yeah. on, men have far less of a biological investment when it comes to procreation. We don't have to carry a child for nine months. No. Okay. So since we don't have to make as much of an investment and sperm is cheap and eggs are expensive, guess what? That that translates over into us viewing sex as we just want to bang anything because we don't have to invest as much. Period. That's the illusion. So, so it's not an illusion. Mm, it is. It's, it's, you have it's a bi- Can you let me finish? Go ahead. <laughs> so that's that's the reality. Like men mm. are born to, uh, men are designed to spread their seed everywhere, far and wide. Women are designed to protect their egg for the best man that comes along. That's why women, if you ask a woman, what do you want in a man versus you ask a man, what do you want in a woman? The woman's list of what she wants in a man is far longer than what the guy wants. Guys, sex, hot, she available. Cool. Women, is he tall? Is he good looking? Does he have game? Does he, uh, is he emotionally intelligent? Uh, does he have this? Does he have that? Women have war- way more requirements because for you guys, there's more investment in having a kid. You guys have to be pregnant for nine months. So with that said, it is, it, it, we don't look at sex the same, guys. The problem is this. The reason why it's very difficult for you guys to understand that we can run around and have sex with other girls is because it's diff- difficult for you guys to do that when you're in a relationship with a man that you love. You can't fathom doing it. But what I'm saying is that men and women are very different. You guys cheat off of emotions. We just cheat off physicality. Very, very different. Not, mm-hmm. not really Y'all have emotions. Y'all just don't like to. I think this is a sign to be gay, guys. In a sense of, okay, now this is in a sense of, okay, so we have biology, whatever, human, natural, whatever, species, yeah. shit. You feel me? We all have that. But at the end of the day, we all have a soul. We all have our own Spirit. moral compass. Like you mm-hmm. are Muslim. So I would assume that since your mm-hmm. culture, your culture is already about, you know, kind of, downplaying women and not treating them as a person is more of an object yeah you be having them wearing the ankle socks neck to toe and shit like Mm -hmm. shit but you you know why do you know why why it's to protect their modesty okay but you can protect your modesty without actual you know changing your whole perception of yourself no it's to protect their modesty because the way men view women is Men tend to look at women as sex objects and women tend to look at men as success objects. Yes. So what Islam has done is it protects women from being sexualized by a man that they meet that they don't know by dressing a certain way. That's why they have them cover their hair, cover their uh, cover their body to protect but, their beauty for the man that actually marries her and her, her male, her close male counterparts. Because when a woman sexualizes herself, yes. right, and dresses a certain way, men are going to look at her and objectify her, yes. period. Yes. So, so but that institution is put there to protect women from men objectifying them. Islamic culture is so paranoid to, you know, women being objectified because they objectify women themselves, basically. 
they're already sexualizing women as a whole. So okay, you so might if, as well we wanna, if we want to get into this. And plus with the with the multiple wives, that's sexualization because if you had emotional connection with somebody, you wouldn't mm-hmm. meet multiple partners and multiple wives if you already share someone share something with somebody on an emotional basis then that means you know you're you're complete. just you're complete sex sex based you want to okay. have seeds. polygamy it so so you fair. you mentioned a lot there number one fair. polygamy is designed more so not for sex but to raise children in a large family unit because when you have multiple women and you can have multiple children spread the legacy long, uh, more and then on top That's of that sex. you have but you you don't understand Polygamy is not just about sex. It's more about being able to raise more children, have a bigger family, and propagate society. That's what polygamy is originally designed for. Number two, uh, you mentioned Islam. You know, is is uh, what's the word you want to use here? It was um, uh, paranoid, women, paranoid about paranoid. female sexuality. Yeah, it's not just Islam. Since the beginning of time, every single religion has repressed female sexuality to some degree. Yes. So it's not just Muslims that have it. Pretty much, think about it. Look at Asia. And you go to, you know, uh, you go to the Middle East, whatever mm-hmm. it is, every society that have never met each other since ancient times have repressed female sexuality. Why? Because they know that when a woman is sexual, sexualized and liberated, it's going to cause issues. Look at the clown world that we're in right now in the West. Yes. We have the lowest birth rates. Yes. We have the highest divorce rates. Yes. We have children growing up without in fatherless homes. We have degenerates higher than any other time. This is what happens when you let women sexually liberate. And that's fine. I don't mm-hmm. care. Like, hey, we're enjoying a decline. We're doing our thing. It is what it is. <laughs> what I'm saying is that who suffers as a, as a long-term consequence of this? Women. Families and women. Because women, a large predicator of female happiness, is having a family and children. Men so, have the highest suicide so, rates. So yeah. We all suffering, too. Yeah, of course. Every, every, everyone suffers. But what I'm saying is that women in general, right, have lo- uh, lower predicators of happiness from not having children and a family. It's not just Islam. I don't know why you're just trying to say, oh, Islam is paranoid about it. No, Every religion, saying... Christianity, uh, Judaism, every major religion today has had a history of repressing female sexuality never, for a woman's own good. I never heard of someone being in a negative sense of destruction illusion. for a destruction and illusion mm. for the price of women. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm. To say it's for yeah, women's it's... good is given fresh fit and toxic. It's like, yeah, yes. it's like an archaic idea brought on by people who established them because they wanted to control. Exactly. That's, and that's, that's what every male dominated religion. religion have in common. Okay. Well, how let's see here's the thing. Men lead women follow. Tell me one matriarchy that stood the test of time. Mm, I can't speak that's on that. I'll do it for you. There's we, none. We There's move none. In the background. That's the thing. <laughs> there's zero. Women are not capable of leading men. They're not capable of leading a society. There's a reason why there's no society that's run by a woman or that's been well, well, female led. Because of physicality, but yeah, there were of like course. Amazonian warriors exactly. that were massive and they were like that's built true. and yeah. they they like made their own society. Where they probably got killed by men. The where, point I'm trying to make is this: <laughs> men create. Well, why is that? Because because they're because, violent because they know, but they don't feel controlling. Men okay, are, yeah, the yeah, world, touch. ladies, ladies, ladies. Only in a first world civilized country. Do you guys have the privilege to speak this way? Because here's the thing. Without men to protect you, to create the infrastructure, you wouldn't have all these conveniences. If all the men uh, disappeared right now, snap, the, you, the world will fucking collapse. How about if all the women disappeared? No. You guys would be instinct. Men don't need women to survive. However, women do need men to survive. We need women to propagate. Hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Men don't need women to survive. They need women to propagate a society. Women, however, do need men to survive. 